What up, y'all? This your boy EB Man coming at y'all with another video for the 992000. And in this video, man, it's gonna be real quick, but I just want to know: Have y'all ever had this long Zion Williamson loading screen, bro? Like, this remind me of that Paul George screen from 2K17. Like, this a this an old clip from probably when I like the second or third week of the game coming out. When this game first came out, I remember when you clicked on this screen, when you clicked on this game, it like you could blink and you would miss it. It had already been loaded you already to the uh, main menu. So now I don't know if it's just me or what, but I figured out a way how to fix this long loading screen. Pretty much use the same method that we used back then on the Paul George screen on 2K17. So look at the time. We already, what, 50 seconds into the video almost? Now watch, it took like a whole minute. I didn't even know exactly how long it was until I made this video, but it took a whole minute for this screen to pop up. Now, I'm gonna show y'all what y'all need to do. All right, now the first thing you need to do is, and I'm a little late on this because I didn't already deleted it and brought it back, but what you wanna do is go to the app, press the options key. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Press the options key, go to delete. Once you click delete, you know what I'm saying, then reinstall the game. Now, I had to record this after the fact because I forgot to record me actually deleting the game. So, yeah, I'm finna just show y'all it installing and all that type of stuff. Alright, so here you go. When it was downloading, it was pretty much done and installed, right? So, we're gonna test it out and see if it, you know, the speed uh, go back to the day one of 2K21. So, I instantly click it. Bam and bam. I told you, as soon as you blink, you might miss it. It happened so fast, so that's pretty much it. That's how you can fix it. Now, hold on, before I get off this video, you know what I'm saying, look, that popped up. A lot of stuff that popped up, it kind of scared me. I was like, oh man, what if I messed up my players? I said, man, I met, Ben, not have messed this up, man. This stuff better be stored in the cloud somewhere. Now, what I can tell you, whatever players you have or whatever, you know, players you like tried to test out or build or something like that, you got to uh, click on it and it's gonna pop your name up because it's gonna first show that stuff that, you know, just showed up on the screen. It's gonna say like prospects. So here you go, right here. When you go to your profiles, it's gonna say unknown prospect, prospect. I'm like, oh man. So I had to figure out which one it was. Ain't none of my players point guard. That's the funny thing. <laughs> so it just like did that. So I picked the right person. It's the right dude. I said, let me go to the city real quick. So when I went to the city, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make sure that ain't nothing bugged out about the game and all that type of stuff. So all that popped up. And then I pretty much just waited to see what the city was gonna look like. So I'm moving around, I think a dude came by me on the skateboard, you see he's invisible right now. And I was like, let me follow dude to make sure, you know what I'm saying, it ain't tripping. You know, it took a little second, took a little second. And bam, he popped up, they got my name. So everything was straight. So I was like, all right, let me leave out of here. You know what I'm saying, let me quit out and then go back to the menu and see what it says. So then when I quit out, I went back to my career to make sure that my name and stuff was correct and it, went, it still didn't say point guard. So now you see it say power forward score machine. Now the rest of that stuff, that my test builds and stuff like that, yeah, it still say point guard or whatever. But I'm gonna skip to where I actually, you know, open the app up again to make sure that it worked properly the second time and it wasn't just a one time thing. All right, so they're gonna be closing the app. I open it back up again to make sure it wasn't just a one-time thing. So as you can see, it loaded up fast again. And we're gonna make sure our player's still straight. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it still says scoring machine and power forward. And there it is. So it looked like it worked. So if you got a, a problem with your loading screen with looking at Zion the whole time and all that type of stuff, then just delete the app. You know what I'm saying? If you got a slow internet connection or it, it don't even matter if you just don't feel like waiting, do it before you go to bed or while you at work or something like that before you go to school. Put your game in rest mode and you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and um, you know what I'm saying? Delete the game and reinstall it. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell for the notifications. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. I'm out.